Okay, so I've just completely made up some fictitious data here. Stem and leaf plots. This is how to do them. And what I've done is I've already arranged. These are test scores of your last statistics exam. Um, from And your lowest score was a 55 and your highest score was a 99. And the M and the F stand for male and female. And again, I've completely made this up. So who knows? So we start out at a 55%, 58%, 62%, 63%, 69%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 71%, 
mean, you could have data that looks like this, um, 5, 27, um, uh, 34, 68, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Well, in this case, it starts at 5 and goes to 68, so you'd have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if this is all your data, you'd have a 0, 5, nothing for the 1s, a 2, 7, um, a 3, 4, and a 6, 8. So the data, you know, this would not be a very good representation for this, this small of amount of data, but it gives you a picture of how to set these up. Um, you don't need a digit there. You could use a zero. And also, if you had three-digit numbers, let's say you had 112 and um, 127 and, and on down the line, um, 315, let's see. Yeah, let's stop there because that, that would get too big. So let's say you had three-digit data. Well, in our case, and maybe we had a 99 or 98, so in our case, um, our stem would be 9, 10, 11, and 12. And if I did the 300, you could go all the way to 30-something. But a 98 would be there. Um, 112 would be there. A 127 would be there. And so your, your stem becomes two digits. This is a 0, 9. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. And then your leaves are the units digits. And you could do the same with decimals or, you know, you name it. Stem and leaves, like I say, uh, my data is kind of nasty. You know, I didn't use very good data because I made it up. But um, you can always tell a lot just by doing a quick stem and leaf with some data and really visualize what's going on. And I hope this helps. Best of luck. See you next time.